In order for me to keep track of my personal water usage per week, I need to create an Excel workbook. First, I can open a new Excel workbook. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Start menu and search Excel in the Programs and Files box. Double-click on Excel. Save as Excel Workbook File Name my water usage. Because I am recreating the chart from before, I want to open up the PDF file to view column and row headings. S start computer, common drive, computer class file, water usage, personal water usage. And here's my personal water use chart that I'm going to copy the rows and columns into Excel. I set up my screen by clicking the Maximize button on the top right hand corner and moving each document into the opposite corners. Like this. I want to zoom in on the PDF to about 125 and then I can move my scrolls on the bottom and on the right. Second, I want to type the information on the chart into Excel. Click on the first box or cell A1. Type activity. Keep typing until you type all the rows down to A11 and get to total weekly water use by member. Highlight the columns you want to connect for the last row, all the way to column 10. Go up to Alignment and click down the drop down arrow next to Merge and Center. I am going to click Merge Across. Now my last row connects through all the columns except the last column, and that will be the total. Third, I want to type the column headers to the right of activity. I am starting in column B1 and going to column K1. All of the headings will be typed in F of X box on the top of the workbook, so I can see what I am typing. Third, I want to type the column headers to the right of activity. I am starting in B1 and going to column K1. All of the headings will be typed in the F of X box on the top of the workbook so I can see what I am typing. Make sure you click on the column that you want the text to go in. Go back to activity and highlight all the boxes from A1 to K1. With these boxes highlighted, I am going to go to the toolbar and cl click Wrap Text. Now I am going to also click the center alignment, but the one that centers the text in the middle of the whole cell. You can make all the rows and columns bold at this time. Also a good time to change your column sizes by using this line with arrows facing opposite directions. Make sure all of your columns are big enough for their titles and all of your rows are big enough for their titles. Fourth, I'm going to fill the information in column J1 to 
J11 in all the cells. You can use the arrows on your keyboard to do this as well.